Drama Island. We are down to our final two contestants, and it's getting seriously tense around here. Before we crown our king, or queen, of drama, I thought I'd take you all on a little stroll down memory lane. In today's special episode, we'll look back at all of the most embarrassing, humiliating, and generally uncomfortable moments that our campers would rather we all forgot. Don't look so shocked, people. You had to know this was coming. Then stay tuned for an exclusive but fairly unsatisfying sneak peek at the dramatic season finale. No one's getting the boot today, but it's still gonna be the most dramatic episode ever of Total Drama Island! I'm gonna be on TV, man! Looks like it's your time to shine. How does it feel to suck so much? I'm going to die here. I did not sign up for this. One year ago, we started the search for the perfect place to set Teletoon's first reality TV series, Total Drama Island. And since all the swanky mansions and luxury resorts were booked, we ended up with this crappy old summer camp. The next step, finding 22 brave campers willing to compete. So, we asked teens all across Canada to show us why they should be chosen for the show. The audition sheet says to list my best qualities, but <laughs> there's so many. Girl, you know it's true. You make me feel so blue. When you don't come around, I was lost and now I'm found. Come on. Cody, what did I tell you about making all that noise? Sorry, Dad. I'm pretty and smart, and I get along with everyone, even ugly girls. Mm-hmm. Gator boys are cool, yeah, yeah. Wanna be with you, yeah, yeah. Can your hair call me? Cause I'll be there for you. Call me for uh, you, yeah. And when you call me... Beth? Beth? I love camping, even though I've never gone. I'm just a man. Just a one-woman man. Yeah, that's all I am. And if I can, I want to find that one woman. Oh, crap. Justin. 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 I've got badges in bass fishing, basketry, farm mechanics, model making, rabbit raising, and stamp collecting with a master badge in compass reading. <sighs> Izzy is name my freaky being and joy I. <laughs> Woo, okay, okay. I have bikinis for every season, even the ones not listed on the calendar, and I'm bilingual. I speak fluent English and American. I can um, roll my eyes all the way back in my head. <laughs> I can also double joint both of my elbows. Okay, catch an eyeful of this. <laughs> What's all that racket up there? Nothing! One day, I'm gonna be a star. You'll see. They'll all see. Let me be on Total Drama Island. Boring be never will it. <laughs> Here she. What, Mom? Okay, so we didn't exactly decide based on talent. We just picked the cast we thought would make the best TV and then tricked them into coming here. Everyone say, Wawanakwa! Wawanakwa! The only thing our cast had in common is that they all knew jack squat about the great outdoors. <laughs> it was pretty funny to watch, actually. Ow! I think something just bit me. What's the problem? Gah! Oh, my boxers, that's bad. You guys squatted on poison ivy. What do we do? Oh, no! <laughs> 
No way. That's awesome. Uh, you can have your egg back. No, no, please. I insist. That was my bed. Nice Somebody help me! <laughs> hey, are you okay? Uh, did that bear just ask me a question? <gasps> oh my goodness, I did not see that coming! Help! Somebody help us! Some campers had an easier time dealing with the wildlife than others. But the food was something no one got used to. Ronicky, give me your plate. Spaghetti! Well, actually, earthworms covered in snail slime sauce and hairballs. This tastes like sweat and lotion. I was excited about the next dish. I made it from scratch. I think mine just moved. Right. Okay, then. Today's special is French bunion soup with hangnail crackers. Why aren't you eating? Careful, your big paws don't match the pastry. Careful, your uptight butt doesn't curdle the custard. Are we here to argue, or are we here to eat a series of revolting meals? I'll eat anything, even my gitch, if I have to. It's unsanitary to cook in something that... small. Will I have to? Hang on there! Probably the worst sandwich ever. Gross! Seeing beans are good for your heart. The more you eat, the more you... Ta-da! Of course, the living conditions were just the icing on the cake. The cake, I think we have a winner here, was the competition, the Screaming Gophers. And it was chocolate, my friends. Put 22 totally random teens into a contest and dangle 100 big ones in front of them. Even Chef will tell you, that's going to be one spicy meatball of a competition. Heather has to cross the finish line or be disqualified. But when she does, Carol will take five flags to victory for the killer bass. I couldn't let that little dorkwad win, so I decided to cut him loose. Game over, Guppy! Victory is... Huh? This camp pretty much still sucks. But now that I'm here, I guess I might as well actually try to win. Your first task is to jump off this 1,000-foot-high cliff into the lake. Today's challenge is the you classic Taj your canoe. If I have anything to say about it, today's will be even more brutal. Challenge and challenge, yes! And Jeff. Today's challenge is about survival. We're going hunting. We are gonna win that 
shower if it's the last thing we do. Got it? You can face your fear and dive straight into this pool of jelly, or let your team lose yet another challenge. It's okay if you can't do it. It is, but we'll lose. I can't do it. I'm coming down. The team with the last camp for standing wins invincibility. He hasn't moved in over 50 hours. How can I be so weak? are painted. I saw it. Stop it. You're pathetic. Show some confidence, Courtney. At camp, marshmallows represent a tasty treat that you enjoy roasting by the fire. At this camp, marshmallows represent life. You are out of the contest. I'm gonna win this competition. No one is going to stop me. When we return, we'll look back at the most talked about part of the show. The drama. Plus, a sneak peek at the dramatic season finale. Every reality TV show has that familiar cast of characters. You have your gorgeous, breathtaking, talented movie star types. The rebel, the party dude, the pretty girl who's not that bright, but you don't care because she's just so hot. Excuse me, Kyle, can I have a cabin with a lake view since I'm the prettiest? We chose 22 teens who never speak to each other in the hallways to create the highest possible drama per minute ratio. Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. Oh. I'm your friend, right? Oh, yeah. For now. We can do this. We just have to believe in ourselves. Oh, I believe. I believe you suck. Let's go over the rules one more time. Number one, I am the captain of this alliance, so I get to make the rules. Time to land that fish. Ow! Oh, idiots! Number two... Breaking the rules can result in getting kicked out of the Alliance? We felt really bad about the whole underwear fishing incident thing. So here, we found you some apple juice. Thanks. <laughs> That's not juice. Oh, oh, my mistake, dude. Uh, we, we must have confused it with the kitchen grease. Number three. I can borrow any of your stuff without asking, but my stuff is strictly off limits. I don't know about that last rule. That's cool. I can change it. I can also find someone else to take to the final three with me. I'm starting to think that maybe Heather isn't <laughs> such a nice person after all. I am giving you one last chance. Why? Because you know you can't win without your little alliance. I can make your life miserable here. You already do, Miss. Come put lotion on my nasty alligator skin. You really are mean. And all that bad stuff people say about you is true. Like how you're a two-faced, backstabbing, lying little... I always told them they were wrong. I stood up for you because I thought we were BFFs. But they're right. You really are a two-faced, backstabbing, lying little... want to be BFFs anymore. I'd rather spend the day staring at Owen's butt than shopping with you. And P.S. Your shoes are tacky. Yeah! <laughs> you tell her. We found friendships, <laughs> alliances, and even a couple of Herald haters. Oh yeah? You want some of this? Well, come on in! But a few of the campers found that sweet, fleeting thing called summer love. Oh my gosh, my face. How's my face? It's really not that bad. You still look great. Your parents even like you? I don't know, Jumpy McChicken. I haven't asked them lately. <gasps> wow, you pitch a tent like a guy. Wow, you pitch a tent like a guy? 
This is the most boring thing I've ever done in my life. Oh, could be way worse. How? Well, I could be stuck here without you to talk to. You want to go out sometime? No. You know what's really romantic? Uh, riding someone's name in the snow with your pee? How about Friday night? Uh, no. You want to go for a walk? Have to say no. Have to say no. Okay. Saturday's good for me. How about Saturday? I'm not going out with you. Ever. Okay, fine. Sheesh. I know you like me. He knows you like me. Everyone knows it. So here's a tip. If you want to kiss me, I might let you. So, is Sunday out of the question? Uh, got it? I hit on her, but I struck out a few times. The point is, she's not into me. She's into you. Oh. 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 Very funny. Now let me go. Hey, princess, this isn't my idea of fun either. Another note from your secret admirer, Lashana? Lashana's the, the crush girl? girl? Now what? You want to make out? You two know someone else here with a booty as luscious as an apple? I can't believe you found a new bunny for DJ. You're a good guy. What? No, I'm not. You are. You're actually nice. Jeff is so into you. Izzy loves scary movies. So does Owen. Hey, beautiful. What you sketching? <gasps> Nothing. You want to make out? Yes! Oh. Oh. He's so incredible. But don't tell anyone I said that. The fact that Gwen is so smart and independent, coupled with the fact that she's incredible to look at, is just making me nuts. Lashana, I meant every word of that poem. Baby, you some kind of freaky. Enjoy a peanut butter last life. Thanks. Enjoy prison. I will. Yes, dude! Told you she wanted me. I do not concede! I do not concede! By the end of last week's episode, most of our lovebirds have walked the dock of shame. Farewell, Total Drama Island. I loved, I lost, and I saw boobies. Some have even continued their romances at Playa de Losers. Dude, this resort is off the charts. But at Camp Wawanaqua, it's survival of the fittest. Only two campers remain, preparing for their final challenge. This day is really sucking. There's Gwen. The mysteriously grumpy loner whose hard work and skills got her to the finals. And Owen, the great big yeah. bear of a guy you just have to love. Awesome to be here, man. Yeah! Maybe not that much. I've got to admit, I didn't think I'd make it this far. Can you imagine me winning? Oh, that would be awesome. But now that I have, I might as well win. Owen, he was so much fun. Don't worry, Mr. Coconut. Your shot flaky marrow is safe with me. For the love of Peter Pumpkin Eater, that was some fun going on. You're the only thing standing between me and victory. Still, I love you. <gasps> I think Gwen should win. Really? But she rejected you on international TV for someone more cooler, hunkier, and more stylish. Thanks for pointing that out, Lindsay. If I didn't think I could win, do you really think I would be in this dump? We all know who you want to win! Yeah, Gwen's definitely my choice. Yeah, uh -oh. ah! no! I want you to be tough and fight to the end, for both of us. I'll be watching and cheering for you back home. I think Owen could win. He's a ticking time bomb of noxious fumes. Owen is revolting. If I make it out of this garbage heap alive, I will issue a restraining order on his oversized butt. No offense. None taken. I guess I tell Gwen that I was rooting for her, and I miss her. 
This could be harder than I thought. We're gonna die out here! Okay, you know what? Bring it on. The official winner of the Awakathon is... Gwen! Ow! <laughs> yes! I win the dinner! Owen wins! Got this, Gwen? Oh, yeah. I can hang here all day. The winners are Heather and Owen! Oh, oh. Owen wins the first freebie! It's all up to you! It's pretty awesome to be here! I'm so psyched, dude! All is fair in love and war, and this is definitely war now. Who's gonna win the grand prize? Here's a sneak peek at the finale. Now it's time to welcome the 20 campers who did not make it to the finals. Hey, guys! <laughs> Good to see ya! It's time for the final challenge. On your marks, get set, go! Yay, Owen! Go, Owen! Run! Oh, that's gonna be tough for the big guy. <sighs> Maybe if I can survive here, the rest of high school won't be so bad. I'm going to die now. I'm gonna freaking die. 22 contestants, two finalists, one winner. Who will take home $100,000? Who will be crowned winner of Total Drama Island? And who will be named the hottest reality show host ever? There's only one way to find out. I'll see you at the season finale of Total Drama Island.